Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one radical maths challenge. It is root 3 plus 2 times square root 2 over 3 whole power 5 plus root 3 minus 2 times square root 2 over 3 whole power 5. I will demonstrate two different ways to solve this problem. So let me write here method number 1. I will use substitution in this method. This I will consider A and this bracket I will presume B. Let's write the value of A. It is square root 3 plus 2 times square root 2 over 3. And B we can write it as square root 3 minus 2 times square root 2 over 3. Let's add both. So I will be writing A plus B equal to 2 square root 3. Let's take product also. So I will be writing a times b equal to. So it will be a plus b, a minus b. So let me write here straight away a square minus b square. So root 3 square minus 2 times square root 2 over 3 whole square. So root 3 square is 3 and this value will be 4 times 2 is 8 divided by 3. So I can write it is equal to 1 over 3. Conclusion is a plus b equal to, let me write here, 2 root 3. This equation and a times b is 1 by 3. And what we have to calculate it is a power 5 plus b power 5. This value we have to find out. So let's simplify or let's solve this system of equation for this expression evaluation. So I will consider a plus b whole square and a plus b whole cube first. So let me write here a plus b equal to 2 root 3. Now I will consider squaring and cubing. Okay. So I will write here a square plus b square plus 2ab. This is squaring. And right hand side, 2 root 3 whole square. So it will be 12. And if I will consider cubing also, then I can write a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. And cube of this 24 root 3. You can check. 2 cube is 8, root 3 cube is 3 root 3, 8 times 3 root 3 is 24 root 3. Now I will put few values which we know already like AB equal to 1 over 3 and A plus B equal to written already 2 root 3. Let's put, so I will write this equation as A square plus B square plus 2 by 3 equal to 12. So from here I can write a square plus b square equal to 12 minus 2 by 3 which is equal to 34 over 3. This is our a square plus b square. Now come to the cube equation. I will write here a cube plus b cube plus 3ab. So 3 times 1 by 3 a plus b it is 2 root 3 and right hand side is 24 root 3. Now this term will be cancelled out. I will write a cube plus b cube value as 24 root 3 minus 2 root 3. So ultimate the sum of two cubes a cube plus b cube equal to 22 root 3. Now our target is to find out a power 5 plus b power 5. Let me write here a power 5 plus b power 5. So I will multiply both the equations. The sum of square equation and the sum of cubes equation. Let's multiply. I will write a square plus b square times a cube plus b cube. Right hand side multiplication. I will write 
34 by 3 times 22 root 3. Now let's multiply. If I will multiply a square with a cube, it will be a power 5 plus b power 5. b square with b cube, b power 5. Now cross multiplication, I will be writing a square b cube. Then I will be writing a cube b square. And right hand side, if you will simplify, this is 34 times 22 root 3 over 3. So I will write as it is unchanged. divided by 3. Now I will take a square b square common from these two. So I can write our equation as a power 5 plus b power 5 plus a square b square in bracket it would be a plus b or b plus a equal to right hand side was 34 times 22 root 3 over 3. 34 times 22 root 3 over 3. Now I will put a plus b value which was let me write here a power 5 plus b power 5 plus this is a b whole square so a b was 1 by 3. So I will be writing 1 by 3 whole square and a plus b was 2 root 3. And right hand side is 34 times 22 times root 3 over 3. So now I can write it is a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 2 root 3 over 9. And right hand side it is 34 times 22 root 3 over 3. Now our answer is a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 34 times 22 root 3 over 3 minus 2 root 3 over 9. Now I can make our denominator common by multiplying here with 3 with 3. So ultimate expression value a power 5 plus b power 5 this value after taking 2 root 3 common and this difference. I am writing directly this value is coming out 2242 root 3 divided by 9. This is our method number 1. Method number 2 is very tricky. Let me write here method number 2. Here I will write our equation first means this expression as root 3 plus root 8 it is root 8 by 3 i will take this 2 inside this is square root then it will become 4 so 4 times 2 so 8 whole power is 5 plus root 3 minus the square root 8 over 3 whole power 5 let me consider this is our expression e so i will write this is equal to e Okay, let's take LCM means I, I want to write our denominator common. So I can write this is 3 plus root 8 divided by 3 whole power 5. Root 3 it is whole power 5 plus 3 minus root 3 divided by root 3 whole power 5. Now I will take this denominator common. So I am writing 1 over root 3 whole power 5. And inside this bracket I will be having 3 plus root 8 whole power 5 plus 3 minus root 8 whole power 5. Done. Now I will consider this curly bracket as E1. So let me call this is E1. So our expression e equal to 1 over root 3 power 5. So let me write this is root 3 power 4 like this. We can write it is root 3 power 4 times root 3 power 1. That means root 3. Root 3 power 4 is root 3 times root 3. So 9 ultimately times root 3 times root 3. So 9 I will be having. So this value is 9 root 3. 
so i will write here denominator is 9 root 3 means we have to write like this then e1 our target is to find out e1 only so let me write e1 separately 3 plus root 8 whole power 5 plus 3 minus root 8 whole power 5 now one observation is there if i will multiply both the brackets see 3 plus root 8 times 3 minus root 8 then it is a plus b a minus b a square minus b square so 9 minus 8 which is 1 so in this place i can write it is 1 over 3 plus root 8 let me write here e1 equal to i will write no need to write that one so 3 plus root 8 whole power 5 and then i can write in place of 3 minus root 8 1 over 3 plus root 8 whole power 5 now let's use substitution now i will use 3 plus root 8 suppose it is equal to a so our expression e1 will become a power 5 plus 1 over a power 5 okay now i will calculate the values of a plus 1 over a see this is 1 over a so a is 3 plus root 8 so if i will write 3 minus root 8 then it is 1 over a now i will add both a plus 1 over a so this value will be 6 plus root 8 minus root 8 will be cancelled out and a a times 1 over a is obviously 1 so what i will do here i will consider squaring of this equation so let's consider squaring first so i will be writing a square plus 1 over a square plus 2 ab so 2 equal to 36 so from here a square plus 1 over a square equal to 34 36 minus 2 now i will take cube of this equation so i can write a plus 1 over a whole cube this value will be a cube plus 1 over a cube plus 3ab so 3 only a plus b so a plus 1 over a and if i will write this value then this is a plus 1 over a is 6 so 216 i can write 6 cube it is a cube plus 1 over a cube plus 3 times 6 so i can write from here a cube plus 1 over a cube value equal to 216 minus 18 so this value will be 198 now we are knowing two strong equations this is a square plus 1 over a square 34 and second equation is a cube plus 1 over a cube equal to 198 our target is to find out only e1 then we will calculate e by multiplying 1 over 9 root 3 so that part is easy let's find out a power 5 plus 1 over a power 5 so i will write here a square plus 1 over a square this value was 34 a plus 1 over a known equations 6 then a cube plus 1 over a cube 198 so far we are knowing these three equations now i will take product of sum of squares and cubes so i will take product of this equation with this equation okay let me write a square plus 1 over a square times a cube plus 1 over a cube so right hand side i will be writing 34 times 198 multiply it a square times a power 3 a power 5 1 over a power 5 done now cross multiply a square with 1 over a cube so i will be getting 1 over a 
1 over a square times a cube, so a equal to 34 times 198. Now this is we know, this is 6. So I will write a power 5 plus 1 over a power 5 equal to 34 times 198 minus 6. So this product is, if I will write 6, 7, 3, 2 minus 6, so it is 6, 7, 2, 6. And this is our expression E1. Now task is simple. We have to find out E. E is equal to E1 over 9 root 3. So E1 is 6, 7, 2, 6 divided by 9 root 3. Now I will multiply numerator and denominator with root 3. So root 3, root 3. This will become 6, 7, 2, 6 root 3 divided by 9 times 3. Now we can cancel 3 with this number and I will be writing here 2, 2, 4, 2. So our final answer for this expression would be 2, 2, 4, 2 root 3 divided by 9 and it is same as method number 1. I hope friends you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.